Okay, folks, listen, I know you guys got a smile on your face because, listen, this is like uh, really out by popular demand, right? Even though I've done this a little while ago, you know what I mean? Uh, got a few million views on it. Listen, I'm going to bring it up to date, show you how to get it. And guess what they call? They call shrimp boil foil packs. Let's get it. Listen, this recipe is in my cookbook right here, right? You guys can find, you know, good recipes like this and everything. This right here, you guys can look down in the description box below. I'll put a link on the screen so you guys can see it. Cop this. And guess what, folks? It's at Walmart right and at all walmart now listen this is a very very fast you know recipe to make right now first thing we want to do is we got corn right i'm gonna take my corn i'm finna cut this down in a third so let me make a little room all right then you just put them inside of here it depends on how many foil packs you're gonna make how many you do right all right so after we get the corn in here i mean i don't have to show you guys that you know we just put it in there i don't have any water in there as of yet but i'm gonna show you why i'm gonna go ahead and just cut these down in half if we want to have food, we want it to be flavorful and over the top. Yeah, I could just put water in here, you know what I mean, and boil this, and then we're going to take it outside and put it on the grill. Hey, that's a surprise, folks. If I hadn't said it already, you can do it outside on your grill. And believe me, even though we're closing up to full packs, I got to let you know that it will get smoky flavor inside of there along with that heat, right? Or you guys can do it. So whatever the temperatures I give you outside and what's that, what's in the book right now, listen, it's the same whether you're doing it inside of here, the oven or outside on the grill. You can use Old Bay. Most of you guys, some of you guys, I have something like this, you know what I mean, inside. I use that to flavor my water. You know, this is my go-to, right? This is that Creole kick. And this right here, you know, when I do seafood boil, I only use that. I just don't want to open this up. I usually keep a pack open, but I didn't use it all up, right? So I would use that, put that in the water, and we'll put that flavor and infuse that in there and then take it outside. But this is going to be my tool of choice today. But I think I'm going to put the chicken flavor. Now, I got it. You guys want to, you know, it's really just like the, the, the taste of it, right? So I can go better than bouillon in here. I can go Creole kick or I can go my seafood bowl, right? But I'm gonna put a link down in my description box. You guys can go to my website, click it, however you wanna do it, but I'm gonna give you guys options. So now, I'm gonna use the last of this because I don't have much. So you know what I'm gonna do as a backup? I'm gonna use a little bit of that Creole kick in here also. All right, so I'm gonna add some of the Creole kick in here. So all I'm gonna do now is let it come up to a boil. I'm gonna let it boil for just 10 minutes. That's all we need, folks. And you know, meanwhile, I'm gonna go outside and get my, you know, my, uh, my kettle grill ready. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. You can just see with all of the seasoning that we put in the water. Look at that right there. I've already checked my potatoes. They nice. I checked them with the, uh, what did I check them with? A toothpick. You know what I mean? So we good to go. So I'm gonna set this over here to the side, right? Move this out the way. And we ain't really discussed nothing, but look, you can see I got large shrimp, right? And then I put some crab clusters. You know what I mean? You can like surprise your guests and put some of that in there. You guys can do scallops and all of that. It, you know, I would just give options. So I just open this up right now so you guys can just see. Listen, there's a mini recipe like this in here. You know what I mean? That you guys can just like, you know, work with. All right. So look, I'm going to cut these down into like just some cool little, you know, I guess quarter inch, three eighths size, you know, medallions. Now, before we build, listen, this is what I'm getting ready to do. I got me a four cup Pyrex, right? So since I'm outside, you know what I mean? You guys going to, you know, if you're outside like myself, you fortunate enough to get out there and do it right now. Look, let's just go ahead and put two sticks in here. We want to get one full cup, right? Now, you know what I'm going to melt mine with? I know you guys guessed it. I'm going to put this on my indirect side. So come on over here. And I'm going to show you the temperature right now, right? The way I have it vented, look at that right there. That's 350 degrees. Oh, I'll set this in here like that. You might even get catch a little bit of that smoky flavor. We got our melt on. I'm getting ready to load up with my, my garlic cloves. Now we're getting ready to do a little squeeze on this lemon. I'm gonna use my hand as a strainer, catch any seeds. All right, now we just add our parsley, right? Now you guys see me scraping my knife across here. I'm not scraping it like that. I have it like at such an angle. It just kind of like glides off the top. Kind of like do it like the dustpan. You know, when you're picking up your duck, you know, your trash on the floor, just get it like that. Just some pro tips. Now we're finna add a little flavor to it, folks. And that's gonna be our Creole kick. You see that right there? 
And that's a butter sauce. Okay, folks, so listen, I tore out some uh, some aluminum foil. Now listen, this part is gonna be keen, right? Actually, I had it the wrong way. We all know the dull side goes like, you know, there's our cooking side, right? Shiny side is our show side. And you know what, I'm gonna say shout out to, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was that told me that, but they told me it's the process when they make the aluminum, that's why you get a dull and a shiny. Other than that, all of it the same. But anyway, we gonna go the way we was uh, brought up and do it that way, right? So, listen, you build them how you wanna build them, right? So I'm gonna take a little bit of andouille, right? I'm gonna reach in here, get myself, you know, a couple of things of corn. And don't, don't trip, folks. These chef fingers, listen, that was hot. I ain't gonna fake the funk, right? Now we're gonna put a little bit of this. Oh, man. A little bit of this shrimp in here. But don't forget, folks, these are that jumbo. All right? You keep it like that. Now, when it comes to the cluster, look, I'm gonna tear it off like this. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys can work with it. What do you do? I already done washed everything. Just put a couple of pieces of it in here. Just like you see, somebody gonna open up one of these and catch themselves a cluster. You know, just this part, the knuckle, right? Looking at that, we can put a little bit more shrimp in here. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna put one more, right? Piece of corn, get it in here, clean my hands. And now we're gonna put a little corn, I mean a little potato in, right? Don't make them too big that you can't close them, you know what I mean? All right, but you see that right there? That's what you want. Ooh wee, look. Uh-huh, I know folks, I know. Right? Then we come back with that Creole kick. All right? And then when it comes time to close, right? I bring it like this. Bring my top piece together kind of like just fold it down a little bit like that now don't forget we going on the grill right so again your mind gonna tell you if he closed up the bag how is that gonna have all of the uh how's any uh, smoke gonna get in there trust me folks smoke is like water you know what i mean it's gonna find a way so again i give you like a little crash course that right there is my direct zone. This is my indirect. I don't want to put these over the top. I don't want to boil none of my, uh, I don't want to boil, you know, my, my butter, right? So, and we want to, we don't want to like overheat it. I'll just stick this one right here. We stick this over, we still gotta get that lid on. And then for that third one, I'll just stick it in right here. Now, listen, if you guys want to, you can make them much, much smaller, make them personal individuals. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a great thing to, a uh, great recipe to put out, especially if you're doing entertainment, you can get yourself some, uh, some uh, shallow full pans, fill them up with all of your ingredients and just make these, pass these out. You guys get to enjoy the pool. You get to talk to everybody while you're doing it. And it's almost foolproof. I gotta say that because somebody out there gonna find a way to mess this up. Now, with that being said, listen, talk to me down in the comment section below. What else would you have put in there? Meanwhile, we finna go about, about 15 minutes. Then we gonna check it. I think they'll be ready by then and then we just move on. Okay, folks, now these have been on about 35 minutes, you know what I mean? Uh, no, about 30 minutes, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go with that. It really depends on how many bri uh, briquettes you put in there and how close you are to the fire and how much you have, you know, your heat, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. We'll put this one down right here. And notice how I'm able to pick this up because this is hot, but I keep myself some cotton gloves right here. These are actually, you know, uh, cut resistant gloves, and I put the the uh the latex over the top these ain't even latex these are uh, something else but i'll let you know what you get you know you guys can look down in the description box if you want to get some so i'm gonna go ahead and open this i don't know if the camera gonna catch it it then kicked up a little bit of a breeze right now but you know i mean you can see the steam that comes up off of it and then the, one of the telltale signs that is ready is look you can just look at the let's look at these shrimps as they say them scrimps look at that right there oh my goodness All right, folks, listen, look down here and you can just see, man, I don't, I don't even have no word for it. Like, hey, this is just, hey, this is a shrimp foil boil pack 
super easy to make. And please don't feel like if you don't make it outside, listen, this just gives it a little bit of added kick. Listen, it's spring, summer. I don't know when you guys are doing it. I don't care when you're doing it. You can even put it in the oven. Like I said earlier, you'll come up with like the same result minus the like little bit of the smoke flavor, right? So with that being said, I'm not finna over talk. I didn't had a few already. I'm gonna just start off and eat a little piece of this like this. Start with that andouille. Y'all know I like that andouille. And that's chicken andouille it is. Cheers. Now, don't forget this recipe and many, many more out, especially for the outdoors. Listen, you want to get your cop this uh, cookbook, right? Listen, it's going to be to all the major retailers. It's going to be at all of the Walmarts. You know what? It's available for pre-order right now and it's launching in April. So if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm going to use these uh, tweezers right here just like a fork, Whew. a double up, made it a triple header. I'm out.